What is up guys? Welcome to my suicide, well the Suicide Squad trailer reaction. I thought, hey, you know, new Suicide Squad trailer, I want to check it out. It's interesting because I didn't expect as much feedback on my previous breakdowns and reactions on some people really not liking the vibe of the previous trailers. But I've been really on board with this film. I, I've loved the, the James Gunn kind of stamp on it. It, it, it. That's very evident, at least to me, <laughs> from what we've seen in previous footage. And I'm hearing that this new trailer that we're getting is, is apparently better for those who really didn't like the previous ones. So that's just, for me, going to be even better because I really enjoyed all of the Suicide Squad footage that we've got so far. So I'm going to go ahead, react to it, give you my first initial thoughts and breakdown and whatnot. But let's get into this. Okay. Amanda Waller, man. Okay. And take such extreme measures if this mission isn't more important than you could possibly imagine. Are you in or out? Good. Let's meet your team. Each member is chosen for his or her own completely unique set of abilities. Good to know. <laughs> is this thing a dog? A dog? What kind of dog do you think it is, mate? I'm going to go with Afghan hound. Oh my god, he's a werewolf? Yo, they fucking is a werewolf! Yo, look at him! He's not a werewolf, okay? He's a weasel. He's a I love, weasel. I love Joe Kinnaman. 27 children, but, you know. <laughs> Your mission is to destroy every trace of something known only as Project Starfish. Any questions? Project Starfish? Starfish is a slang term for a butthole. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh. Oh. Okay, the lower star rows. I'm going to get you out of here, Ella. Oh, I got chills now. Ratatouille. <laughs> 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 Bird. That honestly, what what more can I say then? Why what, what what wouldn't you enjoy about that vision? You know, the Suicide Squad is a big cluster f of a mess of of anarchy, chaotic brilliance, and I feel like what we're glimpsing here. It's a lot of the same kind of stuff, but I feel like maybe it's the editing of the trailer that people are vibing with more. I don't know. I just, I've seen some just, I went to the Twitter feed, people like, Oh my god, this is so much better! And stuff like that. So, yeah, for me, that was just not surprising in terms of I really enjoyed it. I loved everything I saw. We got to see a bunch of the mini freaking Staros. So that makes sense with the little, uh, little bites that we saw in King Shark. In previous trailers, I mean, a lot of people were pointing that out anyway. I, there's so many uh, moments, golden moments from that little trailer that I'm already forgetting right now. Obviously, you've got the little bird bit at the end for King Shark. That's going to be, I don't want to call it a gimmick, but for lack of a better term, James Gunn's, Gunn's gimmick. God, I can't speak right now. But yeah, I, King Shark's got to be an MVP of the movie, I think. And we saw him freaking literally get sent flying from Starro. So that's going to be brilliant. I also liked seeing the, you know, typical Amanda Waller literally using family members of, like, literally the daughter of Bloodsport. I mean, that that's not really surprising. Um, we had more little, you know, Superman in the ICU stuff because obviously, uh, well, we didn't really get to see it, but Henry Cavill's Superman got a bullet from Bloodsport and he, he nearly died. So 
so that's how successful <laughs> Bloodsport was and what he's kind of serving time for. What I kind of like about those vibes as well is it mixes a bit of, you know, comedy drama stuff that I love. I really am a sucker for st that stuff because you can get serious moments between characters, even though the large majority, and by the way, I'm just watching a play again in the background, of it is larger than life kind of ridiculous things happening and lots of funny moments will be lent out of that. I like that there will be some sincere moments and then some dramatic moments and that's what I think James Gunn does blend quite brilliantly with his movies. I feel like they gave a lot more Starro away in this trailer as well. Like maybe they should have done that first of all, especially if you're going to release a trailer and announce a movie. I know, I guess maybe that was their marketing tactic. They just wanted to kind of do this Godzilla in the Shadows initially, but now, not that he's fully in frame every second of this trailer, but they gave a lot more of him and I feel like maybe that would have landed a bit more successful and <laughs> we obviously had the Project Starfish quote and John Cena coming in and we can't forget that he's getting a Peacemaker series from James Gunn um, to HBO Max and it <laughs> is Project Butthole. <laughs> I don't, maybe I'm at, look, maybe some people are going to say I didn't find those jokes funny, but I'm just a sucker for, I feel like me and James Gunn would get on very well with our, with our senses of humor in terms of what he's written for this movie. And like, yeah, the Harley Quinn going for a number two. Yeah. Anything I would have kind of improved off the top of my head with this trailer? Thinker. I want to see more Peter Capaldi Thinker. Where is the Thinker? I want to see him do something, say something. And all we got the word from him was like suicide and then like Joel Kinnaman's just like yeah that, that's kind of our thing and I love Joel Kinnaman such a bloody brilliant talented actor ah oh, I love him in so many things I, I, I mean I probably there's a lot of love for Joel Kinnaman out there but I'm so glad he's still in this movie we got quite a bit of rat catcher moments as well like not only like a little rat on the shoulder but like there's a moment with Harley Quinn under the water and she's just kind of <laughs> taken away by the beauty of the moment I suppose knowing Harley I'm glad they showed a bit more David Desmulsion I'm a big fan of his and they, even though it's I, I do you say like I'm a superhero or something I, I'm really looking forward to his character Polka Dot Man and other than that like I can't really often watch more than a reaction other than that was a to put it in the most blunt but brilliant way, an absolute clusterfuck of a mess of of throwing all the paint at the wall and seeing what sticks, but every piece of paint that you have in your little ingredient pot is only hopefully guaranteed to be good. It's not the analogy of just throwing things at the wall and seeing what sticks in a bad way. I mean that with the best kind of intentions, uh, because that's kind of what the Suicide Squad is, at least in this adaptation and iteration, they're kind of going a little bit less serious than that first David Ayer version. But what did you guys think of this. Did, did this, um, for any, not naysayers out there, but people who weren't really feeling the movie in the first couple of trailers, does this kind of win you over? I don't know if it will for those people, just because I feel like they just didn't really like the direction of the movie, maybe. But and, and why would this change with this trailer? But maybe it did. And if you did enjoy it already, was your reaction similar to mine? I'm just more game for this more than ever. I really can't wait for its release. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, like this video if you did enjoy it. I'd really appreciate that. As always, links are on the top pinned comment to my Discord server, social media, where you can follow me further. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day. And I'll see you members of the Suicide squad i suppose in the next video goodbye